but I'm not quite sure a lot of people know what a rib is. So mm -hmm. maybe you could uh, show us exactly what a rib is. Sure, absolutely. Well, a rib is, it literally stands for rigid inflatable boat. And what we mean first by rigid is the fact that a rib, or the rigid portion of the boat, is the hull, deck, and console is all fiberglass. Okay. And uh, ultimately, what we've got going on right here is we have a deep V fiberglass hull. Yep. Uh, and you can see it here, the very deep V hull with the lifting strikes, just like you would have on a traditional hard-sided boat, maybe yep. a little deeper. Yep. Um, this bow can be made out of fiberglass, like this one here. We also do them out of aluminum. Okay. So you have two structures. So those, yeah. that's the rigid port, okay. part of the, of the boat. Right. The inflatable part, or yep. the eye portion of it, is the inflatable tube, mm. which you see right here. It runs okay. the full length of the boat. Yeah. Um, it's obviously all air filled. Yes. Um, hence inflatable. There right. are other boats out there that have a tube. Yeah. shape type of thing, but it's yeah. not inflatable, so it's yes. not truly a rib. That's yes. what a yes. rib is, is the tube on the side is inflatable. I see what you're and saying. And the other thing about a rib is that the tube actually makes up the gunnel or the side of the boat. Yes, yes. Um, it's not on a hard side of boat where you have the fiberglass side. Right. On the rib, you've right. got the inflatable side. Okay. So you can see right here, this whole length along the way, the gunnel is made up of the tube. Right, right. Well, that, that's a very interesting design. Now, you've been in the business for a while and you're familiar with other ribs. What characteristics do ribs uh, have in terms of what do you see as the two or three advantages of a rib? Mm -hmm. And are there any shortcomings that people might want to be aware of? Sure, absolutely. There are several advantages to a rib, but if you, if you kind of look at them, their, their biggest characteristics or the, the biggest features of one. One, getting back to the rigid portion of the boat, yep. the deep V hull on a rib, as you can see down here, it's a very, very deep, rigid hull. Yes. Uh, much more so than on a hard side. Of the yes. Uh, and we're able to carry a really deep V hull with this because we have the inflatable tube, which acts like a giant stability piece. Yes, yes. If you kind of look at it and you envision where the boat would sit in the yep, water, right, the tube right acts like here. a giant stabilizer right yes. at the water's edge. Yes. So a rigid inflatable boat can carry a much deeper V hull than, let's say, a hard sided boat, yep. like a, a Mako, a Grady White. Yep. They have a deep V, but not yes. as deep yes. as a rib, because yes. if they increase their V that large, the boat would just start rocking and rolling. Yep. It doesn't back have and the forth. stability of the tube. Exactly. The right. So a rib gives you a much smoother ride because of the deep V hull. Okay. But because of the inflatable tube, mm -hmm. you have a much more stable ride. The boat doesn't rock on its own because mm -hmm. those tubes catch at the water's level. Mm -hmm. Interesting. You also have a drier ride. Okay. Again, the water gets sprayed off the hull. It gets caught underneath the tube. Yep. And then the final thing, and why these are among the big reasons for them being very popular among commercial users, law enforcement, military yep. guys, is the fact they can carry really, really heavy loads. Oh, really? And the tubes can just carry that because, you know, obviously the air engages oh, with the water, right. the buoyancy, more buoyancy of them. Yeah. Exactly. That's interesting. Very interesting. Well, you, you mentioned some of the applications, you know, law enforcement, so on and so forth. Now, ribs is a kind of a commercially viable uh, form of boating have been around since, I guess, the early 70s, mm -hmm. right? And, and I think they... They started in popularity overseas, didn't they? They did. And actually, you know, the, the rib as we know it today, the modern form of the rib, got its start in the late 60s, really, okay. uh, in the UK. All right. Um, but really came to prominence, as you said, in the early 70s yeah. as a life-saving boat. Okay, um, right. And one of the main reasons it came to prominence as a life-saving boat was the fact that oftentimes, at least along the coast in Great Britain, they are always encountering rough weather. Yeah. So they needed a craft that could get the rescue personnel out there mm -hmm. safely, no mm -hmm. matter what the conditions were. Because let's face it, a rescue guy can't pick when he wants <laughs> right. to go out there. Right. That's right. So a rib allowed them to yeah. do that with the deep V okay. inflatable tubes, just those characteristics that I talked about. Yes. Similarly, they've grown greatly in popularity in the UK just for that reason, for okay. recreational boaters like mm. you or myself. Interesting. Um, because again, they don't have to wait for a calm day out there on the water to go boating. You can just go out regardless of the waves and go take the boat out. Right, right, right. So kind of uh, born and bred in some rough water over near the UK mm -hmm. and, and that really takes advantage of the unique characteristics of the boat. Absolutely.